again, Martha Higdon from quiltingbymartha.com. I'm also a handy quilter educator. And today I'm going to show you how I audition, how I want to think how I want to quilt a certain area or a certain block. As you can see on this quilt here, I have this fan and um, I have golden threads paper. They come in two different sizes. You can get golden threads paper at goldenthreads.com. Um, I use it as a guide to audition. So what I'll do is a light um, pencil. I will trace my area and then I will audition to see how I would like to quilt it. And then once I'm, I've committed to a design, I will then quilt it. Um, I'm never using this on my quilt. I'm using it as a guide. Again, that's common thread or um, goldenthreads.com. And then what I do is I leave it up here to give me an idea to remember, okay, this is what I chose to how I'm going to quilt it. Um, as you can see, I'm gonna do in the ditch. And I did the in the ditch ruler and I, in, I quilted in the ditch for these two panels. And then I decided I'm just gonna do a free motion squiggly line. And then I'm going to do um, the other lines on the other section um, is our new handy quilter. It's called the HQ Handy Quilter Curved Crosshatch Template. Again, that's HQ Curved Crosshatch Template. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna demonstrate this ruler or how I use the curved crosshatch all the way up um, one of the fans. I'm using the center line on my ruler to stay in the center of that fan. Okay, so what I'll do first is I'm gonna do the free motion squiggly lines first. Again, I'm gonna go needle up, needle down. And because I am gonna be using a ruler, I have my ruler base on, I have my sure foot attached, and then I have my ruler for when I do the second fan. So the first one, I'm doing free motion. I'm in precision, I've got it at 10 stitches per inch, and I'm just free motioning. So I start, I lock my stitch, few extra stitches, and then I'm just easily going to be doing a squiggly line. And since I committed to three, I gotta make sure that I have room for three. I do the squiggly line, that's two. And what I wanna make sure is if I, when I start here, I want to finish down here, because when I go back up this other fa fan, I'm gonna be doing the curved cross hatch. That way I'm not stopping and starting. Um, I, you could start up here at the top and come down, but I think it's easier to start from the bottom and work your way up. So I'm gonna do my third squiggly line. The thing about free motion quilting is you really do have to figure out which direction um, so that you're not always tying off and cutting your thread. So here I'm going to use the HQ curved cross hatch template. I'm keeping the center line and there is a, also a, a straight line and a dotted line. I'm gonna be using the dotted line as my reference to how far I'm gonna go up. So my dotted line starts at my applique block here. And then I'm keeping the line in the center and I'm going across. I'm using my ruler to go forward to give me some control. And I go up to the dotted line, leaving my straight line in the center as a reference and I come back across. I move my ruler to go up to the dotted line, come across. I move my ruler up to the dotted line, come across. Oops, I got off a little bit. So we'll go back up. I'll have to rip that out and take that back out. But you want to pull the machine in towards the ruler. And then pulling it towards the ruler. Going up. Again, rulers are not really fast work. You can get fast with it. So go straight up. I'm using my dotted line as my reference and I'm keeping the straight line in the center of my fan. back across and then I'm ready for the next fan where I can do my squiggly lines I would come down three and be back down here and do another row of my curved cross hatch um, again this is a uh, handy quilter curved cross hatch template it can be found at handyquilter.com or your local handy quilter dealer 
I hope you enjoy this as much as I do on this ruler that just came out, this template. It's called the Curve Crosshatch, and I will show you another video in another time. Happy quilting!